Hey everybody, what's up? This is Nerfin16, Retro Kid on YouTube. And. He's ours! He's ours! They're ours! They're ours! And. A little argument in progress. I said he's ours! No! Shin, Zeto, and Jay are ours! You hasty piece of crap! You don't even know what a show error is! Okay, guys, seriously, can I just review the three of them? No! Wait, you know what? Let the kid tell you why they're totally ours. Yeah? <laughs> Let me tell you why the kid's totally ours. Uh, this is awkward. Damn straight it is. Jinx! Double jinx! Runner kick! Yeah, it's pretty much the argument I got this week after finally seeing through, again, all three comrade films from the 90s. First of which, come on, force powers, would be Shin. Um, Shin was supposed to be the an attempt at a, a horror-ish, more adult story uh, for old school fans of Kamen at that time. Um, it was a financial nightmare on opening weekend because parents straight up hated how hardcore they made Shin. Personally, um, with my fresh eyes after seeing it over a year later, um, I totally don't agree. <laughs> it's a powerful story. It's a very traumatic thing. Uh, one guy in the comment section for this uh, particular writer's theme said he was more of a survivor. He pretty much handled a lot of baggage. Uh, his girlfriend cheating, uh, not really cheating on him, uh, betraying him to be a medical experiment. His dad saying no to the whole thing in the government he was working with was totally against everybody a lot a lot of ins a lot of outs yes i did a big lebowski reference deal with it and overall i like the story um unfortunately due to its controversial nature it never really got a chance to have well a sequel so here comes uh some two new writers at that time uh shin really wasn't for the kids anymore so in as a last ditch thing back in the 90s uh bandai uh, coincided with a uh children's film festival alongside super sentai to pretty much make these two writers you see before you Kamen Rider zeto and Kamen Rider j uh zeto's movie was pretty awesome actually it had a, a not as dark story as shins um the fight scenes between him and the one monster pretty much had a lot of rematch claws, but it was totally worth it. Um, the bio pool in the end was very, very dark, uh, but the cybernetics was not that bad, and they had uh, a doc pretty much like Rick and Morty. I don't know why. Uh, 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 wait, what, what the? Oh, holy crap, I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm going to get the hell out of here before I puke some more. Yeah, you do that. Um, overall, I really thought that these this the this writer was serious potential. I mean, technically, it would have a Terminator vibe, and the kid there was a kid that would supposedly be the genesis of the of the whole uh, MacGuffin part of the story, and would have worked out just fine as a series. Uh, remember that, because that, that's going to be important later. Um, on to this guy, Common Rider J. And oh boy, was he fun to watch! Ow, 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 ow! Sorry, I got a cramp. I wonder why. <laughs> Warn him later. Attention. So yeah, um, Jay was. Just, I have my first letter of my name. Was actually awesome in the way that he defended the hell out of his sister. He more had a more personal attachment to the kid he had to save though barry was in all of three minutes of the movie it wasn't as annoying as i thought it was gonna be well, actually i think it's a she i don't know it could be in the words of ghostbusters it could be whatever it wants to be yeah I'm getting a lot of references that way uh long story short um he's the only writer so far that could turn into a giant well ultraman size j hero and totally the only would be their freaking canon <laughs> If they have happen to go up against any other show from any other series, uh, <coughs> not <coughs> Super Sentai at all. No, no, God, no, no. Um. So another thing to also mention, uh, very sadly at this part, um, that this was the last time 
series creator Shotaro Ishimori would work on any writer ever because he passed away right around 1998 I believe. Um, I personally had no attachment to this guy's material until I saw Black, Black Rx, and these three writers. This guy knew how to make a story and without this guy I probably wouldn't be a Power Rangers fan or a fan of the stuff he does officially in Japan. And I really wanted to say yeah, this dude knew what he was doing. He loved this genre and I couldn't thank him enough bringing me back into this. Then a bullet of other shows that remain nameless. What do you mean by nameless? <gasps> I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! I'm not, I'll get the hell up! I got arms now! I can do whatever! Get up! Yes, yes Mr. Marvelous, sir! Who the hell's Marvelous? I'm Troy! <laughs> you're funny! You're funny! You're, you're funny! Where's, where's the camera? Where's Ashton Kutch? I, I want to punch his face! And Where's his face? No, no, I'm seriously Troy. Castro Troy? Who? Oh! Ugh! Whatever. Alright, well... Since I'm back in the suit, um, let me just get my final thoughts of all three movies. Hang on a sec, it's... I'm having a bit of a weird week, everybody moving the camera around and stuff. Okay. My final thoughts on all three writers is that... Well, they're totally worth it. I don't recommend Shin as a first time viewing, but I recommend the other two as a first time viewing if you want to get a full idea of what these guys can do. Both Shin, both Jay and Zeto can pull off some not bad writer kicks. Um, I recommend Jay, he has a shorter story and um, if you really want to just sample it, he's an easy sample for show error-ish writers. Now here's where the ish comes in. These guys totally thought that they count as one or the other. I think they're an in-between kind of genre. They're technically heisei, but they fight a lot like Showa era writers. So here's what I gotta say to you guys. Why can't they be both? No, no! So you got that toy now, huh? Do it look like I got tears now? I got a freaking adaptation to punch. Later. How about you, big boy? Huh? Um, I shouldn't be here. Yes! You should be here. I got a mega mode ready to kick your ass. <laughs> is that code for me kicking yours? Because, uh. Sure as hell looks like it. <laughs> oh, wait and see. Oh, you wait and see. Because when I get all my zords, and that Silver Ranger guy that no one heard of yet. <laughs> I'm here! No, what the hell? I'm Red Brown, and I'm here to talk about February Month and, and how awesome Spoonie did a good job, man! Spoonie did a great job! He did a great job about me and everything! And oh! Sorry about that. Uh, kid, you, your, your final thoughts? Uh, that was pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, so don't, don't point the camera. All right, I won't point the freaking camera, man. You, you sound like I'm a vampire or something. You dress like one. Oh, I want to talk to Ghostie about this. Uh, get your names and shit. Yeah, no problem. So yeah, that was my final thoughts. And personally, I recommend all three movies. If you're a hardcore fan, you could totally sit through them, no problem. Um, I also recommend Easy Rider and um. Because he did a crossover review with uh, Apollo Z Hack at the time on Shin. I recommend that review. I recommend um, Matt's monstrosities. Not really monstrosities. He when he was when he was Hack, he did both both movies. So I recommend just Apollo in general on all three of these movies. Yeah, he 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 explains it a lot better. Um, and honestly, um, as much as I would love to end the video with this image I would actually like to end it with Ishimori's uh, I want to say one of his best writers because I personally like black too hell that's why I got the RX figure here so yeah um, 
with this memorial out of the way, I guess. <laughs> this was uh, Nerfan16 Retro Kid on YouTube, and this asshole's got some splaining to do. Ooh, me? No, oh, freaking red brown! Yeah, later, guys. Henshin.